Hey friends, and welcome to Yoga with Rachel. My name is Rachel, and this right here is Angel. Today's practice is a standing yoga flow where we will stretch it on out. Find some space to move, and let's get started. Let's begin by standing tall. So walking the feet underneath the hips, toes pointing forward, arms resting at your sides. Now let's draw some circles with the nose going in one direction and then taking your circle in the other direction. Wonderful. Bring your head back to center. As you breathe in, draw the shoulders up towards the ears. And then when you breathe out through your nose, the shoulders drop away from your ears. Two more times just like that. Breathe in, shoulders towards the ears, breathe out, drop. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. Wonderful. Now reaching your right hand towards the left side, right across the chest, and using your left hand to guide you a little bit deeper into the stretch. So you may recognize this one from gym class. And now turn to look past your right shoulder. Feel free to wiggle your fingers here, just for some fun. Why not? Breathe in through your nose and then breathe out through your nose. Release that. Send your left hand across your chest over to the right side, using your right hand to guide you a little bit deeper into that stretch as you turn to look past your left shoulder. You can wiggle your fingers here if you would like. Breathe in through your nose and then breathe out through your nose. Release that, placing your hands on your hips. And now let's take our hips in a circular motion. So you can imagine that you are trying to keep a hula hoop up as you do this action. And then taking your circle in the other direction. Wonderful, eventually our circles become smaller and smaller and smaller until eventually we find stillness and the hula hoop falls away. Now walk your feet together, legs together. As you breathe in, send your hands to the sky. Reach. Breathe out to clap your hands together, interlace your fingers, and then release your pointer fingers towards the sky. Breathe in to find length. And then breathe out to tilt over to the right side, finding a beautiful side body stretch. So I like to consider this shape to be like a crescent moon or perhaps even a banana shape. So perhaps you use that image in your mind as we stretch it on out. Breathe in. Breathe out to come back to center. Breathe in. Breathe out to tilt over to the left side as you bump your hips over to the right, pressing into both feet as evenly as possible. Breathe in. And then breathe out to come back to center. Breathe in to reach to the sky, coming up onto your tiptoes, and then breathe out to break free, releasing your hands to your hips once again. Now draw your elbows back in space, like so, and then lift your chin slightly towards the sky. Right here, I invite you to imagine your favorite superhero. So this could be a Marvel character, a character from DC. It could be a real life superhero that you know, or maybe even yourself. So think about that person, that character. Perhaps you smile a little as you breathe in through your nose and then breathe out through your nose. All right. Send your arms from left to right, and then step your feet wide, toes pointing forward. So I like to place my feet so that way they're underneath my wrist points. So feel free to try that one out. <laughs> so this pose in yoga is called star pose. So my star looks like five points. So the head, two hands, two feet. So your star may look a little bit different from mine, and it's all good. Let's embrace that and go with it. All right, so using your right hand, bring your right hand to your left foot or towards your left foot. And my friends, feel free to bend your knees here as well, okay? Now reach your left hand towards the sky and then come back to your star pose. 
All right, other side. Bring the left hand to the top or towards the top of the right foot, reaching the right hand towards the sky, and then coming back to your star pose. So let's keep this action going. And I'm gonna ask you to go at a pace that feels good for you. So going back and forth, alternating between right and left foot. And then maybe you play around with bringing that breath into the action. So we breathe in to come to star, breathe out to tap a foot. So wherever you are, one more on each foot. You got this. Wonderful, coming back to your star pose. Now the arms may be getting a little bit tired, but you can do this, let's do this. Let's turn our right foot out, so that way the toes are facing towards the right, <laughs> and then sink into that leg as you turn your left toes in slightly. So your knee, your right knee is over top of your ankle. Arms are still from left to right, and then turn to look past your right fingers. So this posture is called warrior two. So perhaps you put on your warrior face here. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. All right, as you breathe in, send your hands to the sky, hands touch overhead, breathe out to find your warrior two. Breathe in, hands to the sky, breathe out, warrior two. So now let's include the leg, all right? Breathe in to straighten through your right leg as you send your hands to the sky, Breathe out to find your warrior two. Breathe in, hands to the sky, straighten through that front leg. Breathe out, hmm, warrior two, wonderful work. So to give your arms a little bit of a break, let's place them on our hips, straighten through your right leg, turn the right toes in as you turn the left toes out. So we're just taking our warrior two the other way now, okay? So sink into that front leg, stacking your left knee over the ankle, turning the right toes in, that back leg, nice and strong. <laughs> Send your arms from left to right. Once again, finding your warrior two, looking past the left fingertips. Give me that fierce warrior face, you know. <laughs> you got this. All right, breathe in to send your hands to the sky, hands touch overhead, breathe out, warrior two. Breathe in, hands to the sky, breathe out, warrior two. Now, let's include the leg. Breathe in to straighten through the left leg, sending the hands to the sky, breathe out, warrior two. Breathe in, hands to the sky, maybe you look up this time, breathe out to find your warrior two. Release your hands to your waist, your hips once again, straighten through your left leg, turn the left toes in, and now let's heel toe, heel toe the feet so that way they're a little bit wider than our hips, and turn the toes out slightly so your heels point in. For this next movement, I like to either bring my hands to heart in prayer position or bubblegum hands, so I interlace my fingers like so. So you can decide. All right. Let's sit back into an imaginary chair. You don't need to go super low here. And now you can find a little bouncing action, going a little up and down. All right, breathe in. And then when we breathe out, let's hop and then sit back into our imaginary chair. You got this. Breathe in, breathe out to hop. Breathe in, breathe out, hop. Breathe in, breathe out to hop, breathe in. Breathe out, hop, one more, breathe in, breathe out. All right, finding those baby pulses here, breathe in, and then breathe out to rise up. Great work, everyone. Now let's heel toe, heel toe, the feet back together, legs are together, feet are together, bringing the hands to heart in prayer position as you bow your head. Perhaps you smile a little here, if that would feel good for you. Perhaps you think about your favorite part from our class here together. What did you enjoy the most? And now, let's breathe on in through the nose. 
and then breathe out through your nose. Thank you so very much for being here today. I appreciate you and I hope that you have a wonderful day in school. Happy learning and bye for now.